Lauren Reynard, the fashion designer behind the eponymous label, Lauren R. Couture, joins the Afternoon Express show to discuss her label and how she used the difficulties during lockdown as an opportunity to profit by making her Lauren R. Couture signature masks. Welcome to The Loft, Lauren. Thank you, Felisa. Thank you for having me. Now, Lauren, before we get into your career, let's talk a little bit about your journey. How did it all start for you? Uh, Belisa, since I was a little girl, I was always playing with materials and making dresses for my dolls. And I think that's where my passion ignited for fashion design. I love that. That sounds so simple, but it couldn't have been. I mean, first of all, Barbie dolls are like this big. So how does it even, how yeah. do you even think <laughs> about it? Where does, where does one even start? You know, um, it's it's a very nice process to, to work with a client. So they sent through designs to me and then um, we start working from that. And then I put, I give my input with the fabric choices and all of that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that sees you now today. I mean, you are the beautiful wife to a gorgeous husband and a mother to two adorable sons. So tell us about the incident that happened in 2015 that drove drastically changed your life and your career? Oh, that was a very hectic time for me, um, Palesa. My son was diagnosed with cancer, um, acute myeloid sarcoma. Um, it starts in the blood and then it um, goes to the body and it, it, you get like bumps all over the body. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then as a family, you know, yourself and your husband and the extended family, how then do you rally behind your son, still keep going strong, still keep him motivated, inspired, not giving up hope, but also needing to make a living? Yeah. So in, when my son was diagnosed, I had to stop uh, working for a bridal designer um, and then I focused on his health and in 2016 when he was declared healthy I started uh, my own business and decided Lauren it's time to do your own thing and then yeah the rest is his <laughs> well, I'm grateful, first of all, for your son's health, just first and foremost. And secondly, that he's got the strong support system in yourself and in your husband, people that are able to elevate him even when he was at his lowest. And as a family, you were able to rally around each other and support each other. So now tell us all about Lauren R. Couture and what that represents. Lauren R. Couture is, um, I'm a very classic um my designs are very classic and I try to um, stay true to myself by creating um, luxurious garments and um, and flatter the female body. Um, it's very important that you create designs that will flatter the body and show off the best features of the body. So I, I like to do stay true to the, the, the body shape and design according to that. So then, Lauren, what then happens when there's a lockdown and people are not getting married as they used to and there are no events to design for? You then flipped your designs on their head and you focused on the face and you created your masks. So please briefly tell me about the process of your masks and what anyone can look forward to when they want to seek out a Lauren R. Couture mask. <laughs> so my mask, I decided to, you know, although it's a precaution, a lot of ladies wanted something to match their garments. So I sourced some fabric that's a bit more glamorous so they can match it with the outfits for when they go out. Um, yeah, and match with the outfits when they go to like weddings now, like yes. more intimate weddings and um, when they go to work and you know? <laughs> Where there is a will, there is a way, but make it fashion, baby. Thank you so much, Lauren, for joining <laughs> us, sharing your love, sharing your family story, and how you guys have been able to overcome the adversity you faced. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> Lauren Reynard is a true testament that when lockdown gave her lemons, instead of lemonade, she made masks. And what a need and success it's been.